everybody um welcome back to another video in this video i'll be going to show you all how i made a little short film you remember the macarena dance before we get right into this video i want to give a shout out to today's sponsor this video is sponsored by raise energy raise energy if you need energy drink to keep you focused um keep you hydrated raise the energy is Drink for you. It's got zero sugars. Electric lights. It's the best energy drink you can drink from the other com the other competitors. Right now, my favorite flavor is the Apollo flavor drink. That's my favorite one. If you use the link down in the description down below and use my code John John Kings, you can get fifteen percent off your entire order. The link will be in the description and use my code John John Gaines for 15% off your order. Now let's get right into the video. So how did I get this short film going? So I created a new project right now. The project um the version of Unity I'm using is Unity 2018.4.21 F1. By the time of this recording, after after this computer gets published, the project will be upgraded to 2019 or 2020 for um, advanced features. Um, okay, so I have some several folders. I have imported an asset from the asset store called RPG FPS Game Assets for PC Mobile. It's the industrial set version 2. Um, it's free on the asset store. And it's by Dim Dimitri Kasenko. And this will we will have a file called, called uh, RPG FAS Game SS Industrial. And I had several other folders. Got yeah, folders called animations, screenshot, um, screenshot utility. That's an asset. I've been using to take in-game screenshots. I got other photos called animations, audio, characters, recordings, scenes, and scripts. On the post-processing is the you know, post post post-processing stack. If you got the old version of the post-processing from the asset store before they removed it, you should have X still have access to it as long as you download it and it download it. Not if you did not get it before before they removed from removed it from the asset store, uh, you have to use version two, which is done through the package manager, which is window package manager. Um, this is the twenty eighteen version. I will show you guys the um the other version. I can scroll down here and find post processing. This is the version two of, the, of that stack from Unity Technologies. Right now, it's the current version. On this is version zero three point zero point three. Just click install and it'll install it. If you want to learn about about the new post processing stack, I'll leave Jamie Vegas's um tutorial on that down in the description. I got audio. A sound effect and the music that was in the original video. Then I got some little some animations set up for animations folder. I uh, did some sub folders for different ones. One for the camera, one for the UI. Um, and characters folder, same thing. Little sub folders for each new dig individual character to keep it organized and they had their own little animations attached to them then the recordings scripts folder it's all done by one c sharp script if we go to the visual studio um this is a like his old simple copy and paste code from jamie vegas's video when he did how it 
he, when he did a little short on the most ridiculous dancing. But I did make some modifications to the script. Um, this here, this line right here, where it says animation. In his video, he put animator. But me, I modified it to animation because I use animation components, not the anima animator component for some reasons. That's my way I'm doing it. Um, yeah, if you're going to add new characters, make sure you have the yield return new, but for a second, make sure you, before it starts, you have this line of code right here. Name, the, name that core team to whatever you want, and make sure you have the I numerator, then name, name the core team you started with. It's got to be the exact same way you spelt it. Then, make sure you have the yield return new, wait for seconds. And do like one second. Then I'll do character mod with the number inside the array. Then dot select them dot tree. Then follow by that sound. Then the others will be you'll return new with for seconds 0 0.5. From this line of code to down here. Make sure you yeah, add one. Just copy copy this copy this line of code right here. Then go down one paste. No, not that one dip shit. I like it. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Then you do character mod. No. Uh, then in the array, you type in whatever number it is. So we're going to do 8. Then dot set active. Set up true. And the clap sound. Play. It's like that, but I'm not gonna do that because I already got seven characters. I'll add more to the one new short film. Then same thing from here. You over to new wait for seconds 0.75 F. Then do character mod, rate of whatever the character it is. Then you get the component, either the animator or animation component, and that enable equals true. And do you return new then add a delay of 10 seconds then you enable the camera then um i gotta change this to animation because i'm gonna be doing the, doing it by animation component only then for this to, to be turned turned off i did a 300 second delay which is five minutes after the five minutes it's going to turn everything off then a three second delay here, and the fade out, the actual true. That's all, that's simple. And the variables, this public game object with an array and character mod. Make sure you use these variables, because variables are important when referencing it to the script. Then I created an empty game object. By default, it will have zero. But if you go in here, you type in seven or how many you got. Now you gotta redo everything. Then you get add them to the separate object. So char is um, zero. Be char zero. It's a full drag and drop. So there, everything is public. So I can reference it. Reference it. Ref reference it. Uh, this vector panel. Uh, four will be char four. And five will be char five. And six will be doozy. Then the club sound, which is the ding. Music is the music. The camera is the camera. Fado is the fail in the canvas. So with all that put together. I'm going to disable the audio listener with it being copyright because that music is copyrighted. With all that added to, together with the animation in the animation tab for the camera is simple keyframes. So every 300 frame through every 5 seconds add a new keyframe. Um, let's turn off the cameras here to show you what I'm talking about. In the scene view here.
this and we just play this right here game view that's why we get that's how it does it a little pan a little panorama so every 300 um uh, every 300 frames which is five seconds um so every five seconds it will make it go to a different position rotated there are two spots, uh, like three spots where it doesn't rotate. Then the rest of the way is trying to rotate on the nuts on that certain by that certain keyframe. So nothing too special. Um, animation's my thing. Stop this and go to zero frame. Let's enable this canvas now combine that combine this all to go together oh if you know how i recorded that short film i i used the unity the unity recorder that used to be on the asset store now it's on, on package manager the way to do that is you go to window uh package manager make sure you said preview packages all packages Advanced, make sure you took show preview packages if you're in Unity 2018 or lower. If you're on the 2019 or higher version, you, want, um, you will see it there because it's more stable. In 2018 or below, this is all in, these were in the preview builds. So we scroll down till we see Unity Recorder. The current version one the current version of it is 2.4. I just install it. Then I added a recorder. Click add recorder. It'll give me the option to add an animation clip, movie, image sequence, GIF, animation or audio. I can choose movie. Then I chose the targeted camera. Then the camera I said to active camera. Or the main camera. I'll make sure always say the main camera. If you have audio, you can add audio and then in the target frames per second. I, it, by default, it will be 23.97. Uh, it will be 29.97. But I change, you can turn it up to 60 frames or you have a custom frame rate you want to. And right here in the format, the H264 quality will be high. Then you name that film, then add a raw card. You can do a recorder, time, take, date, project, product, same resolution frame extension. Always do it by take. So, with combining all these elements together, this is the reason why I don't use Doozy. I'm gonna show, um, didn't show Doozy in that short film because this. Um, I'm going to show you. Um, I did some post processing too. So if we go to the game view, that's what it looks like, and here's what it looks like without it. Without, with. That makes a difference. Without, with. That makes a huge difference. Alright, so this is the reason why I don't use Doozy. Enable this by playing this. Oh, let's control save the scene. And now we're just plus play. It's the reason why I don't chose Doozy. I'm gonna give it a minute to play. They're coming in one by one. That's why I don't use Doozy in that short film, because I had to fix his animation. He's supposed to do the Macarena dance animation, not that. It's like he's doing the robot. But everybody else is doing the Macarena.
you can see that post processing off of mousey and everybody else if it's showing up it's because um because of the white or a different color yep there's a little panorama everybody doing a macarena so I'll make an updated version of this and release it to my skit channel not the channel this is coming on my skit channel which will be spongebob 971000 I'll leave Leave a link to that channel down in the description down below. Wait for this to complete the panorama. Now I'm going to show you guys what that's post processing. And the Mercury and Dance Animations um, take the loop. That's why they're doing we doing the macarena every time because it's on loop. And he's doing this and Ducey's doing the same thing. Doing the robot. And it's gonna re, re loop that camera over and over again. So now let's try to view it without the post processing. Um you know what? I'm gonna take out the audio source on the Um, what? Save with the whole freaking thing. We need with the audio listener this time. Listen. Hopefully, it doesn't play that copyrighted music. There we go. Yep, by disabling that music. It's much more faster about the post process post processing. I always use the post processing to make it look better. It's loop time. It always look better with post processing. Do 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 do. Wait for it to complete. Check the new version out soon on the Skit channel. See nothing too special. I might add more characters to the short film. There's one, two, three, four, five, six characters. Right? That's simply, uh, that's simply how it was made. That's simply how it's made. Um, if you want me to do more, more of the short films like this, let me know down in the comments down below. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure the notification bell is ticked so you don't miss a single upload stream of Paracom. Premiere, I come to this channel. I'll see you guys in a new video. <laughs>